Last time we saw how romance verbs use different endings to point out the person performing the action. They also have one of four thematic vowels inside the ending, depending on the verb's conjugation. Up to now, we've only taken one slice of time, the present. Cantas, or cantamos, are in the present tense. Tense is just an old French word that means time. Consider another time, another tense, the past tense. Latin verbs had a longer set of endings in the past. Amas for you love, but amawisti for you loved. Similarly, amant versus amawerunt. But vulgar Latin shortened these endings. Amasti, amarunt. So Portuguese speakers say amashtu and amaron, and Italian has amasti and amaron. This tense gets called by other names, preterite, historic past, simple past, remote past. In France, Italy, and Switzerland, Romance speakers use a different way of talking about the past, at least in everyday language. They say the equivalent of you have sung for you sang. So we hear tu as chanté, hai cantato, ti as chanté, has cantado. They're important, but let's revisit these constructions later. We learned six forms of the verb in the present. Canto, cantas, cantat, cantamus, cantatis, cantant. There are six more forms in the past. Cantai, cantasti, cantaut, cantamus, cantastis, cantarunt. Stay in the past tense for a moment, but inject the concept of aspect. Aspect is how or how often a verb is done. It's a simple distinction in romance. One-time completed verbs versus continuous ongoing actions. The difference between them becomes an issue in the past. Cantai, cantasti, and other past forms are simple pinpoint one-time actions. There's another set of endings for continuous actions in the past, like cantabas, you used to sing or you were singing. This is called the imperfect, and that B is a good clue you're looking at a vulgar Latin imperfect. Videbas, finibas. Many modern languages do lose that B, at least in certain conjugations. There's one more tense, the future tense. Western Romance languages developed future endings by tacking the vulgar Latin word for have to the backs of infinitives. Cantareas. Sardinian, Romance, Romanian, and Southern Italian languages didn't develop these future endings. They didn't share in this innovation, nor did they inherit the classical Latin future. Instead, they have phrases for the future. As a cantare. They canta. Past, present, future, three tenses. You now have a basis for understanding how these three tenses work in romance, as well as the difference between the preterite and the imperfect in the past. <laughs>